first thing you need to do is isolate one of the radicals. It does not matter which one. And that means get it on one side by itself. So I'm going to do 9 plus 8x equals 2 minus square root of 6x plus 7. And now what you do is square both sides. So square this side and the left. And that leaves you 9 plus 8x equals. Here we are squaring a binomial, two terms. You can either write it on the side of your paper and do FOIL or use the shortcut method, which is square the first term, which is 4. Multiply 2 times a negative square root of 6x plus 7. And then multiply that by 2. You always double it. So that will give you minus 4 square roots, 6x plus 7. The last sign is always positive, and you square your last term, which is, then that would be 6x plus 7. Now let's combine like terms on both sides. So that's going to be 11, because 7 plus 4 is 11, minus 4 square roots of 6x plus 7, plus 6x. I'm going to, uh, let me see, subtract 2x from both sides, I'm sorry, subtract 6x from both sides, that will give me a 2x, and now let's subtract 11 from both sides, that gives me a minus 2, and that leaves me a negative 4 square roots of 6x plus 7. So now we have, I tell you what let's do. Let's, uh, you see how you have a common factor of 2 in all your terms? Let's divide every term by negative, well, that's fine. This, yeah, let's divide everything by negative 2. So that will give you a positive 1, a negative x, a positive 2, and a square root of 6x plus 7. I divided every term by negative 2. Now what you do... Uh, you square both sides, just like we did in the beginning. Square both sides. So let's use our formula again for squaring this binomial. Square your first term, that's 1. Multiply 1 times negative x. That gives me negative x, and then multiply it by 2. So negative 2x plus, square the last one, gives me x squared. And the right-hand side is square the 2, and that becomes a 4. Square the radical, and you're left with 6x plus 7. So this is a quadratic equation, x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 24x plus 28. And you know to solve a quadratic, you need to get 0 on one side. So let's move everything to the left. That's x squared minus uh, 26, 26x minus 27 equals 0. Now let's factor that, and that will give me an x minus 27 and x plus 1 equals 0. Double check your factoring. x times x is x squared. That's negative 27. Multiply your insides. That's negative 27x. And a positive x, then negative 26. That checks. So we get x equals 27, and x equals negative 1. <coughs> and we have to check these, because when you square both sides of an equation, you run the risk of creating a solution that doesn't work. So, let me get my calculator here. We are going to, let's take 27 and plug it back in here. So, we have 8 times 27. 8 times 27 is 216 plus 9 is 225. And the square root of 225 is 15 plus, plug a 27 in here. 6 times six times 27 is 162, plus 7 is 169, so that's 13. Does 15 plus 13 equal 2? Does that equal 2? No. So throw that one out. Now try negative 1. 9, you're plugging in a negative 1 there and there. So that would be 9 minus 8, which is 1. Square root of 1 is 1, plus... Plug a negative 1 in here. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. That works. So your only solution is negative 1. Sometimes they both work. Sometimes neither one works. 
Um, in this case, one of them did. So your answer is x equal negative 1.